que de rayonnement. Veuillez écouter attentivement et regarder la télévision. Le reste de l'émission se poursuivra en anglais car il représente une menace internationale. A leak was detected in the Chinon B2 reactor at the Chinon nuclear power plant in the F1 region of France at 6.30 a.m. today. Immediately after the detection, this leak was reported to the International Atomic Energy Agency and all the reactors of the power plant, whose three reactors are currently closed, were temporarily shut down, so that there may be power cuts in various parts of France. In connection with the accident at the Chinon Atomic Power Station, unfavorable radiation conditions are developing in the city of Tours, Boitier, and Angers. In order to ensure complete safety for residents, children first and foremost, it has become necessary to carry out a temporary evacuation of the city's residents to nearby settlements of Avion District. For that purpose, buses will be provided to every residence today, June 17, beginning at 8 a.m., under the supervision of police officers. It is recommended that people take documents, absolutely necessary items and food products to meet immediate needs. Citizens, on leaving your dwellings, please do not forget to close windows, switch off electrical and gas appliances and turn off water taps. Please remain calm, organized and orderly. After evacuation, stay indoors for the first 48 hours after arrival at settlements. Take off all your clothes and put them in a plastic bag, tie up the plastic bag and take it as far away as possible or bury it. If possible, wash your entire body, including behind your ears and between your nails, with clean water. Never use conditioner like lotions, only hair shampoo to cleanse. If you have an open wound on your body, disinfect it with Vaseline or another disinfectant and cut the contact of the wound with the air. If you have complaints such as nausea, dizziness, vomiting or burns, inform the nearest authority. Stay inside. Close and lock all windows and doors. Go to the basement or the middle of the building. Radioactive material settles on the outside of buildings, so the best thing to do is stay as far away from the walls and roof of the building as you can. If possible, turn off fans, air conditioners, and forced air heating units that bring air in from the outside. Close fireplace dampers. If you have pets, if your pet was outside, bring your pet inside. Wash your pet carefully with shampoo or soap and water and rinse completely. Wear waterproof gloves and a dust mask, or other material to cover your mouth, if you can. Keep cuts and abrasions, both yours and your pets, covered when washing your pet to keep radioactive material out of the wound. Wash your hands and face after washing your pets. Pet food in sealed containers, cans, bottles, boxes, will be safe for animals to eat. Wipe off pet food containers with a damp cloth or clean towel before opening them. Wipe off pet bowls, dishes, and mats too. Put the used cloth or towel in a plastic bag or other sealable container and place the bag in an out-of-the-way place, away from other people and pets. If you have loved ones in schools, daycares, hospitals, nursing homes, or other places during a radiation emergency, stay where you are. Going outside to get loved ones could expose you and them to dangerous levels of radiation. Children and adults in schools, daycares, hospitals, nursing homes, or other places will be instructed to stay inside until emergency responders know that it is safe to evacuate also schools, daycares, hospitals, nursing homes, and other places have emergency plans in place to keep people safe at the facility. If you are asked to let someone into your home or place of shelter after a radiation emergency for shelter, providing shelter to someone who was outside during a radiation emergency can save their life without endangering your own. Ask them to remove their outer layer of clothing before entering the building or shelter. Once inside, ask them to wash the parts of their body that were uncovered when they were outside. Then ask them to put on clean clothing, if they can. This will help limit their radiation exposure and keep radioactive material from spreading. Returning home after evacuation will be determined by experts. Do not return until you are told it is safe to do so by authorities. Attempting to return before it is safe puts you and your family in danger, and keeps emergency responders from doing their jobs safely. Radiation experts and emergency officials will determine the location and amount of radioactive contamination. Responders will take air, soil, food, and water samples in the affected area to find areas with dangerous levels of radiation. Unsafe areas will be closed to non-emergency responders. A cleanup plan will be developed, and will include input from the community, radiation experts, and emergency officials. 
Emergency officials will provide updates on the cleanup efforts as they become available. Thank you for your cooperation.